guys, it's Mrs. Dukes. Let's check to see that you're sitting on the floor correctly. So remember, you should be sitting like Mona. So your hands are in your lap, your eyes are on me or the sub, and your voices are off. All right, now remember we have three big rules. Number one, you have got to listen and follow the direction. So if the sub tells you to do something, you do it. You've got to listen and follow the directions. Number two, you've got to raise your hand to speak when you're on the rug. You can't just shout out. Rule number three, be nice. Now remember that means a lot of different things, but you've got to not kick, not hit, not take things from other people. If somebody asks you to stop doing something and you can do it, stop doing it. Um, just be nice. So remember, you have three consequences to those rules. Number one, you get a warning. Number two, you can get a second warning. And then third time you break a rule, you're going to time out for 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, we'll say, come back. You've done your time. If you break it fourth time, you go to time out for the whole rest of class. All right, and I know none of you are gonna do that. I'm gonna get a great report from the sub because I know you guys are gonna do great. Um, just keep in mind those rules and those consequences. Make sure that you are entering the room nicely, listening quietly, working nicely, and that you're lining up nicely so you can get all of your warm fuzzy points. All right, let me talk to you about your centers that you're gonna do today. At the red table, you're actually gonna get to try something super cool that we haven't ever done in art class before. In the middle of the table, there will be these little postcards. These are watercolor postcards. This paper is really thick. It's made for watercolors. This is so you could send it to someone, but if you don't want to send it to someone, you can also draw on this side. So this is watercolor paper. You can use this, or if you would rather, you can use one of the big pieces of paper. It's totally up to you. Now, these are called three-in-ones. Let me show you what they do. First, you're going to use these to draw whatever it is that you would like on your paper or your postcard. Okay, so once you have something drawn either on your postcard or on your piece of paper, then, and notice, I want you to notice real quick, I've used multiple colors within each thing that I'm using because you're gonna be able to blend. So what I'm gonna do, take a brush. So I have tiny brushes and I have medium brushes. I'm going to pick a tiny brush. This is a bucket of water. All you need to do is stick it in the water and watch this magic. The water is turning these wood colored pencils into watercolor. When you're done, you're going to want to clean your brush really well. Make sure you clean it in the water very well. And then if you got whichever brush you got, a bigger brush or a small brush, make sure you put it back in the right container. Now this, before you can put it on the drying rack, because it is wet, you do need to write your name. So I'm going to write my name. And then remember this goes on the drying rack and we start at the bottom of the drying rack and we climb it like stairs. That's what you're gonna do at the red table. From the red table, at the orange table, we are going to have Legos. All right, you can build anything you want, but remember when the timer goes out, you need to make sure that you put all the Legos back, even if you're in the middle of building the coolest thing you've ever built out of Legos. And then over here at orange is Brain Flakes. Remember, I can't really do this one-handed, but remember the little holes snap together. You gotta to snap the holes together. Over here will be whiteboards. You can draw anything you want. Make sure that you put the lid back really tight on the marker. So don't leave it on halfway. Don't leave it on partway. I always turn it upside down and push really hard to make sure his hat is on really tight. Do not draw on my erasers and do not draw on the back of the board. Make sure when the timer goes off, you clean it up really good and put it back in the pile. Over here at Play-Doh, remember that you only have one Play-Doh and that is so we don't mix it. We have these tools where you can kind of make a little 
potato heady person. And then we have our other tools. When you're done, put it back, put it in the bucket, and show the sub you're ready to switch. And then remember, our magnet tiles are going to be, even though they're here, we'll drag them onto the rug and we'll leave them there till the end of class and you get to do magnet tiles on the carpet. Now when the timer goes off, and remember the timer sounds like this. Okay, then this group should be cleaned up and that group should be cleaned up and orange is cleaned up and yellow is cleaned up and green is cleaned up and blue is cleaned up. And when you're all nice and quiet, you will hear, ready for it. And then red will switch to orange, orange will switch to yellow, yellow will switch to green, green will switch to blue, blue will switch to purple, and purple will switch to red.